What's up, you guys? So I wanted to talk to you guys today about AAPA. Now, if you don't know what AAPA is, um, this video is obviously for you. But specifically, if you are trying to become a physician assistant, then you definitely should know what AAPA is. And this video is absolutely for you. So if you're in any of those different categories, let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Sedona, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to talk to you guys today about AAPA. Now, AAPA is the Academy, it's the American Academy of Physician Assistants. So hence AAPA, right? Now, with that being said, what is what is it, what does it do? It's essentially our governing board. Um, and um, although I wanted to like talk about AAPA, I really wanna talk about AAPA's conference because the conference is happening this year. It happens annually in May. It's happening this year, May 18th to the 22nd. And I just want to give you a few points on why it's important to attend this conference um, if you are a pre-K student, a PA student, or a PA, with a little caveat. <laughs> Um, so, uh, it is like, like I said, APA is our governing body. This is where like all of our different, um, bills and kind of edicts that we're trying to vote on and get passed in Congress and in, at the state level, um, and the federal level, this is where all of those things are kind of like talked about or voted in and, um, voted on and voted down or voted up and, you know, there's also a student uh, academy of physician assistants. So um, the students, the, the, the various different colleges and universities that have PA programs, they have like a student academy that comes to AAPA. Um, and this is where you kind of get introduced to like other PAs or other PA students. You make friends, you make connections. Um, and it's a really good place to uh, kind of like job hunt because there's lots of like locums people there, lots of different hospital systems attend the conference and uh, it's actually like a great time, the conference, okay? Uh, but it all stems from like our academy in terms of like the AAPA, they put all of this together. This is at the conference, it's also where you get CME and you need a CME, which is like continuing your medical education, like your hours of learning to just continue your license. Like it's important because medicine and healthcare is always changing. And so you need to stay up to date on all of the various different things that is happening in healthcare and in medicine. So all of that happens and I love going to APA and I said like, you know, this it's important for you to go with a little caveat and so like my caveat is like I'm not going this year, but um, that's just because I have a whole lot of other things going on. So I have to find a way to get my CME some like some other way, but I would love to go. I would love to go every year this year. It's happening May 18th to the 22nd in Houston and each year it happens in a different city, which is also a nice thing because you get to like experience different cities um and you know like what the vibe is in that city and you get to again hang out with friends um my main thing that i love about aapa apart from obtaining like the cme and learning about like new and innovative things in my particular field of study is the swag so there's always like an expo um kind of like Big, it's usually usually huge huge convention center and there's like an expo and you like walk through and you have like all like the bags of you they give you like these little APA bags and you get to go in and get like hand sanitizers and all this different swag um, my friend is going this year so I'm gonna definitely have to tell her to like get me some cups and stuff like I came home with a whole bunch of cups last year um, gave some away because I don't have use for them all but the fact that they were free I was like yeah sure I'll take one but it's really really fun it's a great experience and um, it introduces you to different companies and things like that at, you know for not only for you to like get a job but just for you to be aware of so like you know there there are different companies that deal with particular instruments that I use as a PA in OB or um, things that I see that you might see as a PA in ortho and so it's really really fun really important though that you go because you get to see all of the various different things that are happening in the PA career 
all the different moves that we're trying to make um you know for like collaborative like opportunities and um i wouldn't say autonomy but just like kind of making that collaboration a little bit more seamless with our physician pa partners and so it's really important to kind of see all of those developments and be a part of it and know about it so um that's why it's important that you go and even as a pretty pa student all like pretty much all if not a good majority of the the different pa schools attend aapa um and not all of them have booths that you can like actually go to and and talk to them about but like they're there and there's students there and so it's if you like want to seriously be immersed in this like culture of paism <laughs> You can go there and you can meet PAs from different schools and, and universities that you're, you may be interested in attending and get like the real on like, what is it like to be a PA student and attend this particular program? So I think it's very, very important for you to do that. Just kind of hang out there, um, see what it is, especially if you are in um, the particular city that the, the conference is happening in. Now it does cost, it is like expensive, but for students it's a lot less expensive than it is for like you as a full blown PA and actual provider, okay? Um, I think it's gonna be great. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to miss it. You know, every time I go to AAPA, I always have to stop by the Rosh Review booth um, because it's like, you know, I love Rosh Review, so, <laughs> so that's why. Um, and I remember like the first time I attended AAPA, um, I stopped by the booth. I was able to get Rosh Review for free because I answered the questions correctly. And that was like, you know, a big deal because it was super important for me to be able to have something else to like study with and learn from. Um, and lots of the various different um, things that you'll see there, there'll, there'll be like perks and benefits like that. So, you know, if you are heading to AAPA this year, definitely be sure to head over to the Rosh Review booth, even if you're like a PA or a PA student or a pre-PA student, because they have something for all of us, right? Um, and then just, you know, go ahead and get some swag for, for yourself as well. Um, anyways, hopefully this was informative to you. Um, again, I'll leave the link for AAPA, like I think it's already in my description box, but I'll leave it on the screen as well. Check out AAPA.org. Um, there'll be links to the, the conference if you're interested in attending. Um, and if you do attend, be sure to check out Rash Review um, and some of the other expo people as well. All right. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Donna PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Enjoy AAPA for me. I'm going to miss it. <laughs> Thank you guys. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. See you there. Well.